Hi, Carol here. Welcome to my craft room. It has been forever, hasn't it? A couple of weeks since I since I organized my room, reorganized it, and opened up the space, filled my apothecary drawers. I worked for hours, I can't even tell you, uh, to get this somewhat organized, but I can't find a thing. <laughs> it's going to take me a month just to figure out what I did with everything. And it feels good to sit at a normal sized desk and work. Before I was on my dining room table, one of my dining room tables, and we put it upstairs, but the height of it I had to have a high chair, so I couldn't use this nice leather chair that my husband had uh, bought me for my craft room last year. And uh, I had it over at my sewing machine that I don't use. <laughs> <laughs> I can't figure this craft out. I can't. You know, I watch videos of people that organize their rooms and that, and that's all they do. They even say it. They say, you know, uh, and they have beautiful rooms and they say, this is all I do because I don't have time to craft. And, excuse me, I have glue on my fingers because I was trying to do something. Anyway, yeah, and so I thought, you know what, I don't want to become one of those crafters that just organizes because you, you, if you keep ordering stuff, speaking of ordering stuff, I have, I'm waiting on four orders. One order, hope you can see this. I don't know where the camera, I, I've got it placed in a different spot here, higher up, so we'll see what happens. But um, I'm going to fix this. One order, I actually forgot that I ordered it. That's pretty sad. And then somebody was telling me, uh, about this place that they ordered some beautiful um, King James scripture verses and I said where is that and then I went on there and ordered a bunch of stamps and who knows what else so I'm waiting for that that was really exciting to find out that I, I did that uh, because I get so busy and then when I do my orders I have to write them down anyway so then I ordered another one off of Amazon and that came that's good. And then I have the uh, Misty coming. I'm really excited to use that, that stamp. It's like a, um, it's like one of these. It's like having a stamp in a jig. I have the L-shaped acrylic one, and then I have this one, uh, stamp in a jig. And uh, this one allows you, it, it opens up and allows you to stamp like uh, multiple cards but anyway that's coming and then I had this huge honking order I ordered a few weeks ago because there was a stamp site that had in the states I'm from Canada we all know that and um, that order ended up instead of sh I had it shipped to the states so in it got so messed up I'm telling you it took me all morning today just to get it straightened out and I think I do have it straightened out and I'll have it next week but one thing did come from that order which was really strange but it's because they ended up getting this uh, shapeability die after my order went out and so they just mailed it and so that's why I was able to get this and uh, that's why it really had me be boggled because I didn't know where my huge order was but we found it. All is good. That's exciting. So this is one of them. I ordered one, this one with this guy with circles. And it has, it's actually very unique. Isn't this awesome? So I'm going to do a card with that. And I thought if you, if you pushed it over this way, you could use it as a um, stencil. Couldn't you? Looks like it to me. Uh, it would have been nice if this had have had uh, stitching in it, but that's okay. It's a beautiful size. What size is it? It is one, two, three, four and a quarter. Oh, perfect size by five and a half. Now four and one, two, three, four by five and a half. Four and a quarter by five and a half. Imagine that. It's probably just a little less so that you can put it on an A2 card size. But that was exciting. So this order is gargantuous because they had a massive sale on. I couldn't resist it. You know, these dies are expensive and when you can get 60 to 80 percent off of them, you go for it. And let me tell you, 
They said the box was so heavy they had to send it UPS. <laughs> oh, my shattered nerves. Yeah. And um, if Janet's listening, yes, I know I said I wasn't going to order anything anymore on a previous visit if I could help it. But I couldn't help it, Janet. So that's that. And um, then I ordered, this was from Amazon, a Sizzix uh, texture rubber thing because I put mine through my, my uh, cutter by accident. And, and I got a really nice impression on my texture mat. It cut it out perfectly. <laughs> and so then, in case I do it again, I guess I ordered an extra one. And then what was really funny is they had Sizzix plates. Now, that would work with your sidekick. I, I didn't catch on to it. It was $2.39. I kept thinking, wow, you get plates for $2.39. That's awesome. Yeah, Carol, because they're for, um, they're micro. Look at them. Look at the size of these. Good thing I didn't. I was going to order a whole lot more because I'm thinking, two, you know, you get what you pay for. It's the old, that, that's exactly true. Now look at these cutie pies. Is that not the funniest thing? If it wasn't so sad that I don't watch what I order, <laughs> this would be hysterical. I just laugh. I think they're cute and I will use them because I have small dice. So then, this is the hysterical thing. When I was cleaning out my room, I remembered that my girlfriend, um, sent me a care box when I first started stamping and guess what was in it? About a hundred dies and this little sidekick machine. I have this. But I didn't have any plates. Look at that. Isn't the Lord good? Now I do. So that's great. That was really funny. <laughs> I'm telling your girlfriend, you have to see it. Two thirty nine for these plates. For these uh, plates to run through your die cutting machine like acrylic plates yeah th well there's what you get so but okay here's the thrill of the century I wanted to use my Samsung camcorder this has been used once and that was just to try it out now apparently um, it has a pause button, optical zoom, has everything. I just don't know how to use it. So, but I have it. It's charged. It's ready to go. But I wanted to, when I got my new area, and um, I wanted to be able to film overhead like that. Right like that. Can you see that? Right like that. But I needed a gizmo to be able to do that. And I found it on Amazon. And I'm going to finish my map, by the way, today, hopefully. And it is by uh, SMA Tree. Smatry, Smatry, Smatry. That sounds good. Let's go with that. Smatry Innovative Gadgets. And it looks like this. It is a clip. I hope I can get it all in here. Um, and it fastens on and I was watching videos that you could make your own homemade one exactly like this light right here like take this light apart see that neck on there take that apart and uh, I gotta stand up sorry just to see if I'm in focus and I'm gonna pull that down yeah that looks pretty good eh there we go so um, I wanted something to hang from on high here, like on one of my units here, I can hang it. And I have the perfect one right over there. And it came assembled for under $20. So uh, it came with this and it moves all around for your camera. Uh, it clips on and it has this, you know, this whatever kind of neck, they, goose neck, I think they call this. And um, it can sit up here and I can put my camera on it, apparently. <laughs> ah, this is hysterical. So I got this thing and this nut thing, okay? So, and I have my camcorder and I have a camera right there. 
I have another camera too that apparently is a good camera that my son gave me back when I started but I didn't use it um, yeah so once I get this this thing fits in this oh sorry this thing fits in here I don't know where you put this nut I think the nut is who's holding this <laughs> myself but um, it fits in there now I don't know if I just hang my camera like this and it just wobbles all over the place I don't know if I don't know there's the screwy thing that goes like I don't know if this goes in here nope doesn't so anyway this is going to give me something to do figuring that out if anybody knows they can email me because I haven't got a clue I just know it is going to work I will make this thing work to do overhead um, filming alrighty so that's what's going on in my neck of the woods I can't find anything in my craft room uh, it's clean and it's somewhat organized again now I want to thank I got these beautiful cards absolutely stunning cards this one is from uh, Gail over at Stamp Nation thank you Gail it's absolutely beautiful I got it yesterday uh, this technique is beautiful it looks like alcohol inks on glossy paper am I right really pretty isn't that gorgeous and then I got one from uh, this one is from Christy from I'm going what is this <laughs> it's a state you crazy in Canada we have provinces and you have states and it's New Hampshire mm-hmm like I, I, I sat there and figured it out beautiful on ca craft cardstock I don't want to read the insides of them but aren't these thank you Christy and thank you Gail I appreciate that that's our eyes over on Stamp Nation and Christy thank you Christy um, I just love them just love these cards so I have them displayed here in my craft room. Thank you. I will get a card of thanks and appreciation out to you soon. So let's grab this uh, that I've done nothing with. I don't know why it is so um, dark. Maybe it doesn't seem dark to you, but it sure seems. I have every light I have on but it seems to be casting shadow on this desk. I may have to work that out. Maybe, just maybe, excuse me, I might have to move this light here. You know, I think I used to have it up higher. That's why. So let me try and do some. Yeah, I think with it up higher. Sorry. Let me, um, yeah, I had it up from my, um, that's why. Okay, let's do it like that. Is that better? Looks better. Oh, I'm relieved. I don't even know if you got to see my... So let me... See what I'm saying? I can't... <clears throat> can't figure anything out there. That's better. So, this is what I did. I have that prepared. I put this beautiful lining underneath here, this trim. I just love it. And then I have it going up the sides. But because it had to meet over here, I have this. Don't like that. Look at that. It's crazy. And this is just cardboard with 15 feet of material gathered to make this ruching. And I want to finish it off together. So let's do that. Let's get rid of that right there. I mean, you could always turn it in. To the inside wall so nobody could see it. I mean, who's going to go over and turn your lampshade? Not too many people I know. I know I wouldn't. And um, so let's set that aside for one second and figure out what we're going to do with the trims. I have, I have this thing. Okay, I guess just put it back. Hopefully it'll stay there. Okay, so I have this trim. I have this trim. Um, this is going. This shabby chic is going down 
the sides and I want to incorporate the boggles. So, and then I have this trim from my wonderful friend Rosa. Hi Rosa, how are you? She sent me some beauty. Look at this. So I want to incorporate this. Look at the beautiful tag I have with the stitch tag. I love that idea. Just to put some, if you're looking to do any, um, you know, send a gift out, random act of kindness, this is a good idea. Really pretty. Rosa is amazingly talented. Okay. Um, so let's see. I want this to hang, I think, on the... I can have it hang here. And if I had it hang there, I wouldn't have to use as much of those flowers. Because my original idea... Yeah, I'm not going to have enough to put it on the bottom. So that would cover any imperfections as far as... See, this is what I'm talking about. When you do something like this, here's my other idea. Let me get my imperfection here. I was going to run this four or three flowers high across here, which I think I will do. I like that. So let's get some scissors. Let me check out my time because I just wanted to gab. I haven't talked to anybody as far as putting out a video. So... Do I want to put it from there down? No, I have to cover the whole thing. So let's do three. That would be awesome. And then you don't want to have a, a light bulb, I guess, burning too. Um, I kind of like that, like that. So let's do that. I have my... Um, that's another thing. Okay. <laughs> I have to tell you this, when you, well you probably know this if you reorganize your craft rooms. Um, my craft room is nothing extravagant, okay? It is, I love antiques, so I had to work around my apothecary because it's over a hundred years old. And then I have a few pieces that were handed down to me that I like. And so for me to do my room in, um, in, you know, white or you know, all white. It, it just wouldn't go. It just wouldn't go. So I had to work with what I had. Okay? You know, we all did that, don't we? We work with what we have. I mean, if I, you know, if I was the, I could have probably had somebody come in if I didn't order so much. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know what? That's the fun of this, this, this uh, craft racket, isn't it? I just don't know how you would have everything, like everything that's up to date. How would you do that? You couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. Because I look at something and I go, oh, I could do that. Yeah, you could do one card with it, Carol. And then what are you going to do after that? Just store it with your five million other stamps? Isn't that pretty? I hope you can see that. It's so high up here because this is high. So I am going to measure uh, somehow around this. So I will take... Does this go around? No, this doesn't go around. Let's take this. Okay, so let's measure this. So I'm starting at the top, so I have to measure from the top. So, here we go. The top measures to here. Alright, and I want to put how many? Four? If I do four, so let's fold this in quarters. So if I do four to get that perfectly aligned, the next one would go here. Okay, so that's what I think I'm going to do. The next one would go right here. So let's grab one just to place it up here, and I will do that. Isn't that awful? I just I just took my eyes off of that. So to do this, that would be right here. Okay. There we are. That easy, easy peasy. We don't have to make things difficult. The worst thing is getting the glue off your nails. There we are. So um, 
I got my gift out to my secret friend on Stamp Nation. That was awesome. So I know that she is going to get her gift. I was wondering whether I would have to sew this and I opted against it. I just thought just having this up like this, nobody's going to go over and grab your flowers and rip them off your lampshade. So I think this is awesome. This is pretty easy, isn't it? And then it allows me to do what I want to do on the bottom. Okay, so let's grab this. It's in quarters. And the next one will go right here. Right there. Okay. That's a perfect spot because that has a tad bit of imperfection. So that's good. This would be an awesome um, bedroom lampshade if your decor was in peaches or browns, peach and browns. That's awesome. And uh, so in my apothecary over there, those 60 drawers, most, if you go on uh, www.stampinribbons.blogspot.com, my, my blog. I posted pictures of my room finished. And uh, you can't really tell from the pictures. I think the pictures make the room look smaller. But um, there we go. So we have it around like that. And then let's grab our lace measurement. This is the easiest way. Like this. And then the next one. Thanks. Let's get it over here. It goes here. And then it's all even. That's awesome. Where's my flowers? Oh, wouldn't you know it. Okay. I have to get open another bag. These flowers in the States at Stamp and Stuff, where I go and buy all my dyes. Um, it's only $2.99. I mean, that's, I think that's a great deal. For this much, don't you? There we go. And then I hope I don't have to make two videos out of this. Oh, there it is, right there. It's sealed up really well. Okay. So, let's grab my measuring tape again. Look what I did. There. So my next one is right there. Right there. There we go. We can cut it off and we've taken care of the imperfection on that one side. Now you can um, boldly place your... You won't be embarrassed to put this up because of that or if somebody just moves your lampshade. Wish I was the one that invented a glue gun. That'd be awesome. There we go. All right, so we have that. Easy peasy, right? How much time do I have left here? Not much, of course. So let's figure out what I want to do with this. And I'm thinking I want to add some depth to my lampshade. That's what I'm thinking. I think I want it to look very 40s, 20s, <laughs> 20s. I want this to look like the 20s. So, let's see. I mean, I can make it look even longer. I don't know. See, this is what happens with me. So let's grab this. 
What I'm thinking here is I really like this idea. I like these tassels, so I like the idea of hanging that. That looks very pretty from there, so let's do that. I may have to jump into doing part two to finish it, but that's okay. Oh, another thing you have to do when you... That's what I was saying. I lost train of thought. When you change your room around, cords. This house is an old house. It's built, I don't know, in the 50s, I think. Yikes, that's when I was born. It's not that old. But anyway, it has one, um, one uh, socket, like one electrical socket. One. And it's behind my apothecary that was brought up that is nine, nine and a half feet long. Tell me that's not uh, crazy. So I had to run extension cords, but you have to run your extension cords safely, right? So I'm cutting this off here. So I had to go out yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah. And buy another extension cord. I don't know what to do with this right here. I guess it has to be cut. Um, but I had to buy extension cords that were safe, you know, that had the um, sergers on them. Because in your craft room, as you know, we have a thousand, I do, maybe it's just me, I have a thousand cords. I have cords to my hot gun, cords to my vagabond, cords to my lights, my ot lights, um, cords to, um, I'm going to put this down so you can't see that there. Just cords to everything. So I, I never realized I had to do that. You know, that I had so much. So I had to buy th one, two, three, four, eight socket sergers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you have lots of things that uh, work off of, and that's working off of one plug. But it's a safety, the plug is safety. It's not, it only had... At the beginning, it had only two holes, but we updated it, so that's not too bad. But this is the last room in the house to be um, to be renoed, even though I painted it that. But it it it's not, you know, it's it's. Uh, we weren't thinking of putting a whole lot of sockets in here because it was going to be my craft room, and I never realized I'm going to need fifty thousand plugs. There, isn't that pretty? Oh, that is gorgeous. That is going to go all the way around there on that. I like that. Now we have to decide. I'll do that later because I don't want to just sit here gabbing. Let's figure out what we're going to do at the bottom. I think as much as I like this, I don't think I'm going to add it. Okay, Carol, so if you're not going to add that... I'm, I think I have to do this with this. So how do you do that? Okay, this is how you do it. I think I'm going to put this on top of this lace, like so. Come on. Like so, with the ribbon. And then I have some small, small, teeny chocolate ribbons, or bows that I'm going to, flowers that I'm going to put on the top. And this is going to go around here. I am not going to do that piece of um, that piece. 